Welcome it! After exposing the biggest restaurant scam in Hungary, it's time to discover the country's <laughs> exceptional accommodations. And by exceptional, I mean fucking disastrous. For over three years, we were using TripAdvisor to find the worst reviewed hotel in a country. But TripAdvisor is a bit out of date, so sometimes we ended up in hotels that were renovated or changed their management, and they were not really that bad. Today we're changing the strategy and we're going to use Google reviews. We're still looking for the worst reviewed hotel in the country, but we're only going for places that have at least 100 reviews with the last review at least a month old. This way we can be sure that the place is really terrible. We're staying in the capital of Hungary, Budapest. There are apparently 1647 hotels here. We need to sort them by the highest rating, doesn't matter if it's a hostel, better breakfast or resort, we want it all. And of course, we need to scroll to the very bottom to find the biggest gem that this Eastern European country offers. This is always a never-ending process. I don't know why these websites don't have the last page, but forget to go to the top of any dog goes on. All right, all right, all right. It seems the worst reviewed hotel in Hungary is Hotel Casa Latina, a Latino hotel in Eastern Europe. I can't see where this can go wrong. Looks very regular. This seems like the most average hotel with normal rooms and nothing nasty. Let's have a very quick look at TripAdvisor, because that's where annoyed guests tend to post their own pictures. Ah, okay. Doesn't look that great anymore. Dirt, mold, blood stains. Is that a fucking used tissue? But to get the full story, we have to jump to the reviews. Horrible, terrible, disgusting. Dirt, duh, the Beatles everywhere. My wedding guests booked two rooms. When I went there five days before the book night to pay, I was faced with inhumane conditions. Then I cancelled the reservation on the Dirt spot. And Beatles in bed, body fed accumulating for years, socks or something on the smoke detector, a rotten flesh smelling bath curtain, a cigar smelling room already scraping our throats. Box. In one of the corners of the ceiling there were spider webs including the spider. Ants in the bath. Horrible! Please avoid this place! Big mess, this hotel is good for ghost hunting. Dirty and smell. This hotel is a circus. The water in the shower cabin did not sink. The hotel had black stains on the wall and the hotel was really dirty with dust everywhere. Four in the morning we heard a techno party coming from downstairs and when we went down to look it was the staff themselves playing loud music and yelling like morons. Insects and techno. That's what we're coming for to Hotel Casa Latina. One night for two people in the cheapest room costs 47 euros. Apparently inflation hit Europe hard. Okay, and it's booked. Let's take the typical Hungarian public transport and hit the capital, Budapest. Cigan gyerek vagyok, ki gitározni tudom, síró gitár kezembe, hogy gyere baba mi jött az ember, a mondom síró gitár kezembe, gyere baba mi jött az ember. Egy cigán gyerek vagyok, ki gitározni tudom, síró gitár kezembe, egy gyere baba mi jött az ember, a mondom síró gitár kezembe. Welcome to Western Budapest, quite far away from the city center. Uh, sorry, we we cannot look like this. Much better. Hotel Casa Latina, the worst reviewed hotel of Hungary, is right in front of us. They sent me a message this morning saying that we should arrive after 3 p.m. because they had a busy weekend. I presume some huge techno parties at the reception. Anyway, we're going to respect this requirement. It's 4 p.m. already. We got our box spray ready. And uh, since we are both fans of electronic music, a small techno party at the reception would only make our day better. Let's go, comrades.
gotta stop the video here because we would like to thank our beautiful sponsor NordVPN. Where should I even start when talking about the benefits of the fastest VPN out there? So for example, me and Vlad are always on the road, exploring the worst reviewed places all around Europe, which makes it impossible to watch content that is only available in our home country. But with NordVPN, we can easily change our server location and access content that is geo-restricted. It also has an advanced anti-malware feature called Threat Protection, which protects its users on internet and offers them a safer and smoother online experience, which is essential for Vlad, because as we know, he visits websites that well, we all know what websites Vlad visits. NordVPN also encrypts your online presence. And for even more protection, users can route their traffic through two VPN servers, which doubles their encryption. A must have for me, since I'm doing big business with the Romanian Mafia. And now you can get four months of NordVPN on a two-year plan for free if you go to nordvpn.com slash pppetervpn or use my code pppetervpn. And don't worry, if you're not happy with it, you can always cancel the subscription with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Or you can call me and Vlad and we will take care of the people that make you unhappy. Thank you once again, NordVPN. And now back to Hungary. Hi. Hi. Do you speak English? Perfect. We have a reservation here. Perfect. Me? Uh, Peter. You reserved an economy room for one day. Yes, exactly. You are uh, okay with the economy room yes. or you want to upgrade? Ah, uh, we're fine with the economy. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can pay in uh, cash. Can, can we pay by card? Uh, you don't have cash? Not yet. No, we, no, can, no. we can go to the city center and withdraw some money. No, no, it's okay. I think it will be okay. Let me check with the terminal. Okay. Just a second. Let me yeah, uh, sure. check, the, check the key. Okay, okay. Because that was a very busy weekend. Okay. And some keys were uh, exchanged. Okay. number 43 okay yes is, uh, uh, take care of this key yes yes okay. this is a general key okay uh, and, and you just drop in that box opposite the lift okay i just drop the key into there, the there box. is a box there is a box yes in the morning in the morning in the, when you are leaving so there's not going to be anyone at the reception in the morning no no why? Why should be so much? Okay, so no, no. I just dropped the key into a box. Yes. You don't expect a big room. Yeah, we're not expecting yeah. anything. And the, and the uh, hot water is not uh, very stable because there is some okay. problem okay. with the no, gas that, boiler. That's fine. But that's you fine. find the TV, the fridge. Okay, okay. Uh, Wi-Fi. There's no breakfast. No breakfast. No, okay. you, you just book the room. Yeah, yeah okay, 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 that's fine. So the, re the reception is open till what time? Uh, today? Yes, or yeah, uh, today. Maybe, maybe seven. Seven. So from three till seven. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Now it's uh, five. Now it's four, four fifty. Okay. I, I'm here. Okay, okay. Have a nice uh, stay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. At least he was honest that some things are not working. Okay, so we're probably having neighbors here. It's time for MTV Crips. Hello, 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 MTV Crips. Long time no see. I got my new crib. Please make yourself like home. Sorry. At 
it's kind of cozy. Yes, very cozy. I've been unemployed recently. Anyway, welcome to my incredible apartment. Welcome. So as you can see, we have a table. Table. Each apartment needs to have a table. A chair, two chairs. This one apparently beaten by a dog. This is an apartment for me and my cameraman, but uh, apparently we have just one glass. But sharing is caring, as they say. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing you notice is my little pet. My little pet, his name is Gregory Abrahamovich. Yes, my little pet Gregory. How are you doing, Gregory? Oh! Gregory, I missed you too, but that doesn't mean you have to jump on me. He's very young, you know, these young spiders, they cannot behave. This apartment is just perfect for fans of Spider-Man and Marvel. Everywhere you can see spider webs. I feel like a superhero in this apartment. Look on the wall. Some art. I can appreciate some fine art. So, as you can see, all these paintings are representing freedom, happiness, free space. So the exact opposite of this apartment. Let's continue. Here we have a television. Ah, not plugged in. Uh, where's the cable? So as you can see, we have only one electricity plug here. So it's a hard decision, a dilemma between a fridge, which is plugged in right now, or the TV. Some of you may say, there's another plug for the fridge, but it will not fit here. It will not fit. A hard decision. You either have entertainment or nutrition. <laughs> An envelope for Nareen Kumar. Oh, Nareen Kumar, room 4243, so he's uh, probably living in room 42. Kumar, you have some mail! Here. Oh, a fat tissue, what a surprise! Vlad, <laughs> we may we may use it today. Sharing, caring. <laughs> I would almost forget about the beautiful fridge I introduced to you. It's currently unplugged, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Look, Gregory, very active, all these young spiders. Gregory! Shoo! Shoo! So, uh, it has no handle, but you have fingers. Opa, voila! Fridge! Incredible, everything. You can store all your babushka's foods, the vodka, everything. Everything's gonna be fresh and healthy if you're not watching TV. Here we have this incredible win oh, window. You gotta be careful. This room is uh, for short people, so shout out to all of our fans from Central African Republic, all the pygmies and also all the Bolivians. This is incredibly handy if you have your morning cigarette or afternoon cigarette or basically any cigarette. There's always time for a cigarette. So you're just smoking and if it's raining, you're covered and you can at the same time enjoy this beautiful view. Does a man need anything more? Just a roof and a tree. And the bed, the place where the magic happens, especially when we have enough money for some hookers. Obviously, oh look, another pet bug. Oh, look at this. This is Vladimir the Third. Oh, where are you going? Look at this, Vladimir the Third. It fell down. Oh, these young bugs cannot behave. <laughs> so the bed, perfectly suitable for max 1.5 people or 12 Bolivians, depending on your race. Doggy style, obviously not possible. You would bump your head. It's very, very cozy. But for example, reverse cowgirl, ah, you can do like this. Peter, Peter, head. Peter. All let's right, continue. all right, sorry, sorry. I tend to get excited about certain things. So the most valuable thing of this apartment, a working AC. It is, it's a working AC, but Google nearest pawn shop Budapest. Moving on to this beautiful dresser. Look at this. You can store your clothing here and it can alternatively be used as a changing room for pygmies or other ethnicities that are kind of short. Moving on to mirror. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most beautiful man on earth? 
Mirror's shy. Never mind. We all know the answer. What's this? Oh, that looks like a shield, a piece of furniture to protect me. Vlad, if you get aggressive, ha, I have a protection. Okay, calm down, motherfucker. Let's move on to the bath. This may come as a surprise to you, but the bathroom is pretty normal. Yes, you would probably expect some crumbling, dilapidated room, but it actually looks fine. The only problem, though, there's no warm water. But as my uncle Igor Mesezhnikov Ilyinovich from Novosibirsk said, Piotr, cold is gold. And then he died. He froze to death. Anyway, thank you so, so much for coming, MTV. Clearly, this apartment has everything. And to sum it up, I stepped on something. What? Grigori. Now time for a normal comprehensive review, which will not be very long and also not very positive. This place is just incredibly dirty. The floor is covered with dirt, dust, some pieces of paper and everything covered with spider webs. We encountered probably like seven bucks while shooting the, the, the funny MTV Crips part of this video. Uh, just look at this, Th this says it all. The TV is is not working. I'm so glad that there's a working AC because it's about 32 degrees, it's summer, it's really hot today and we would die, we would die without that AC. So that's the salvation. Let's face the facts, this bed is simply not suitable for two guys. That, that's gonna be very challenging. Let's check the bed sheets for stains. The sheet looks clean. It, it seems clean. It seems it was washed. Okay. Who's there? This is where Gregory lives probably. <laughs> that's the entrance to his house. That's the door. Some mail to Narin Kumar. That's just absurd. And this I really want to vomit. It's very likely that this is a fact issue. Someone probably jerked off and left it here. It's kind of yellowy. So, uh, no, I'm not gonna continue. I'm not, not gonna dig deeper into this. Oh, fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, look at that. We have to check the Wi-Fi connection. We found Wi-Fi, Casa Latina 3. There's no password. Nobody gave us password. Unable to join the network, Casa Latina 3. No, unable to join. I expected a much worse bathroom. To be honest, it is not smelly. The toilet flushes, there's running water, there's toilet paper. But the only problem is that there's no hot water. We checked it several times, we waited for five minutes, there's no hot water. The first impression of Hotel Casa Latina left us disgusted. However, it had a free parking lot, a functional AC and a clean bathroom, which was usually a rare sight in a worst reviewed hotel. After these pleasant and also less pleasant discoveries, it was time to explore what waited for us outside our room. So this, this is the front door. This is the front door. We got only one key that locks the front door, which is great for security. You cannot leave your room open to public, but someone from room 42 can easily get into our room because the key is from the front door, but not from our room. It cannot lock the room. It doesn't fit. If uh, Kumar, by the way, Kumar, you got some mail. The postman f***ed it up. So Kumar or whoever is in room 42 can easily get into our room and say hi or steal our entire gear. I'm gonna lock this with Kumar inside. Great. 
Working microwave. It's just very dirty. Very dirty. Look at that. That's mold. That is actually mold. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, there is cleaning service, obviously. But they somehow forgot about room 43. What surprised me is a functional elevator. Oh, wow. Uh, look at this. This is lovely. Okay, that's a really lovely balcony. Peter, give Let's me see. two minutes. Why? Yeah, take it. What the fuck are you doing, man? What are you doing? Vlad, no, 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 no. The reviews were right about the box. Why is nobody cleaning these stairs? Look, there are huge stains of something. And these bugs, that's just... <sighs> there were bugs literally everywhere in the hotel. If it wasn't for the receptionist who fixed our TV and the Wi-Fi connection and was extremely kind and helpful, we would have left. After a healthy cold shower, we called it a day and got ready for a night potentially full of bad bugs and techno. Um, some of you may be familiar with the famous fact that an average person swallows 20 spiders in their sleep in their lifetime. I think we will swallow 20 spiders just this night. Good night. Good morning. There was no techno. There were no bad bugs. There was also no space. But, to be honest, we slept pretty well. Vlad's enjoying his morning cigarette. Vlad, how are you doing? Anyway, as always, we need to confront the receptionist because... Vlad, da picha tu točim! Ticho! Anyway, anyway... Uh, anyway, we need to confront the receptionist with the fact that this is the worst reviewed place in, in Hungary. Uh, but... There's nobody at the reception until 3 p.m. Our checkout time is 11 a.m. So we're gonna drop the keys into the box and then we will need to come back at 3 p.m. Let's go. One question. You, re you left the room? Yes, we yeah, left yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah. It's The keys are there. We have just one question. Which was your room? Uh, 43. 43. 43. 43. Yeah. 43. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you know that this is the worst reviewed hotel in Hungary? Mm. According to internet, this has the worst rating in Hungary. But mm. it wasn't... I can't believe. I can't believe. Th that's why we're so here. So many people come. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's why I'm asking you. Because... Some of the things were bad, but a lot of things were really good. We slept well, you were very helpful, you were very nice. Parking. Yes, we have yeah. parking, so we want to know... The air condition. Yes, why do you think that people leave bad reviews? I don't know. We how, go can, how can it be checked, uh, uh, the ranking? On the Google reviews, if you go to hotels in Budapest and Hungary and you go to the last page, this was the last hotel. Last weekend we were fully booked. Next weekend we are fully. I booked. know, I know. Like, I, I don't. I'm not saying it was totally bad. No, but so no, I'm, I'm asking you. It's a good you. price uh, quality ratio. Yes. So their hotels are more expensive. Yes, but why do you think? Why do you think people don't enjoy it? One of the few problems we had, the room was very, very dirty. Really? Extremely dirty. Which room? Forty-three. Forty-three. 
Yes. I asked my uh, cleaning lady. Okay. There were insects on the floor. There were a lot of webs, like spider webs. Insects? Insects, yes. Spiders and insects. And also, it was very dirty on the hallways. We found like 10 dead insects on the stairs. Stairs? On yes. Stairs? On the stairs, yes. You know, this is, a, this is Buddha. This is a green belt. We are in the middle of the forest. She is doing her best. Yeah. Look. Oh, of course, of she's, course. She's working eight hours. We're not accusing you. We yeah, just yeah, want no. to know why do you think? Because our state maybe, maybe was because fine. because of the insects. Maybe there is not a full day reception. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe because there is no breakfast. Do you want to come back later? Later? Yeah, I mean any time later. You mean like in the future? Yes. Very likely, it's very yes. likely. You, you call me, you call me, you don't yes. need to book... Uh, to reserve booking.com, you okay. call me, I give you a discount. Okay, but the room needs to be a bit more clean. Okay, but, but, but maybe a better room, because 43 okay. is not a big issue. Okay, yes. We have much, much better rooms. You pay yes. just five euro more. A nice standard room, 50. Okay. A big, super big, uh, elegant, superior room, 56. Okay. And I give you discount on this price. All right. Because I do okay. appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Really? And uh, we really appreciate that you are you were very helpful yesterday. Because sometimes we receptionists are extremely rude and not helpful and they're like, me, oh, no, no. But me, you make, seem, a good, make a good review. Yes, yes. On the stuff. Yeah. You seem like a very nice guy and we really yeah, do appreciate I'm here, it. I'm here every day. Yes. Are you the owner of this place? Part manager. manager, manager, manager of this manager. place. So maybe the only thing I would change is just take care of the insects. Okay, uh, I, I tell the, yes. the relevant yes. person. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Any? Uh, Le forítom neked, jó? Azt mondja, hogy ami ami az első dolog ami ami hogy oda kéne figyel. She say you might be right. Okay. She might need uh, more time, but she's alone. Yes, of course. She, I, get it. I get she's it. She's alone. Yes, I understand. We, are, we, we had a very, very busy yes, uh, weekend. Yes, I understand. Formula One. I understand. Uh, you are right. She say uh, you, 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 you are right. Okay. Uh, she will take care of, of uh, insects. Great. What's your name? Uh, Gabor. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Martin. Martin. The last you are You are welcome. Thank uh, you. You have my phone number? Um, no? I give I'm you my sure. number okay. and I uh, give you this count. And, and thank you for your comments. Thank you very much okay. for your openness. That's, oh, we really appreciate absolutely. it. That we really appreciate absolutely. it. Hard okay. times anyway, hard times. Yes, I believe that after Covid, find the fans, of course. To find the right stuff. Put it on the video, Peter. I will, Gabo. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much and good luck in the future. Thank you. Good luck in the future. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. <laughs> Well, first I wanted to give Hotel Casa Latina two stars out of five, then I changed my mind to 2.5 stars, and after speaking to Gabor, I have to give this place three stars out of five. Only because he was so open to change and improving the situation. This had to be the nicest receptionist slash manager in the history of our show. We're leaving Casa Latina and the beautiful land of Hungary but we're not done with things related to Latin America. Get ready for a huge travel show starting next month. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode and please subscribe. Because if you don't, we're gonna fucking find you and break your fucking neck.